had been a single mom for about 10 years or so and pretty much had given up on the idea of ever finding um, a Christian man to marry. Um, there were a lot of men out there, but they didn't love Christ. And I thought, you know, this can't happen unless they love Christ. And so I was very lonely. Um, but in hindsight, um, after I met James, uh, I realized that God had planned that all along, that he had had me waiting um, until James would be there. And uh, we were together 21 years. Um, the last eight years were progressively difficult because he was diagnosed with a, a chronic uh, disease. It was unpleasant um, to watch someone that you love as much as I did him um, struggle that eventually became debilitating and took his life. You know, that whole day was like a blur, just an unreality. And when I saw his body at the mortuary, when they said, you know, I have a chance to say goodbye one last time, it's like, okay, stop joking around, wake up, get up. Um, and when I went home, it was just this horrible, empty abyss. It didn't feel like home. Um, and the days that followed were just, I felt numb. Everything was a blur. I thought I was coping. I, I thought I was doing really well. I thought, I got this. I, I understand he's in heaven. He's experiencing the glory of God. Christmas time came and I thought, what a rat. <laughs> You're in heaven. You're rejoicing with all the angels and, and you know all this firsthand beautiful stuff and here I am struggling. That was my first hint that I was angry. I was angry that he had left. Um, I was angry at God that he took him. As the days went along, um, for, the, for the first month or so, I slept at night holding a cross. That was my tangible uh, connection with God. And, but you know, in Zephaniah it says that, that God sings over us. I would, in my sleep, dream music. Um, I would wake up singing music. And I knew it wasn't me. I knew it was the Holy Spirit. Um, that's how God chose initially to comfort me, was with songs. Through all of this, God's presence, His presence was almost tangible. All loss, all change creates havoc in our soul if we can't hand it over to God and say, I know that you've got my back. I've, I've been fortunate. Um, I, I'm in a loving church. <laughs> I can't say enough about heritage because it's my family. It is truly my family. On Saturday nights, I think, do I have to go home now? Do I have to leave? <laughs> can't we stay here some more? I mean, I have wonderful friends. Um, I was fortunate enough to, for God to just drop me into a home group that kind of wrapped their arms around me and, and carried me along when I couldn't, didn't feel like <laughs> being carried along, maybe. I don't think I was so much of a warrior before, and this turned me into a warrior. And I will fight tooth and nail for souls, <laughs> like never before. You know, Christ died for the one. You know, he left the 99 and, and went after the one, and each of us is that one. My name is Carolyn Summers, and this is my resurrection story. <laughs>